Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be stacking and drying all the lumber that I've cut so far with my new mill. Now in the last two videos, you've seen me get the new mill, set it up and do the first test run. And then in the second video, I showed cutting pretty much the max size log that you can cut on this mill and pretty much showing how I did that. Now I'm going to be stacking all of this. This is only about three and a half hours of running the machine and the stack of wood is huge. I can't believe how much I've cut just from a few logs on this mill. It's definitely going to be paying for itself in no time if I keep this up. Now one thing about milling your own lumber is it takes a very long time for this to dry. You need all that moisture out of the wood and without a kiln this should take about six months to a year to dry outdoors while you keep the rain and everything off of it. Now where I'm at in southeast United States, termites and ants are horrible. They will get into the wood and destroy it. So you gotta keep it up off of the ground and you gotta keep it dry. And I've noticed anything that is in contact with the soil will just rot out so quick and the ants and termites will destroy it. So I've got that up off of the ground with cinder blocks and I'll be stacking the wood on top of that. Now in order for the lumber to dry out, you need to have some spacers in between each row so that air can breathe right through there. If not, it's not gonna have enough airflow. It's just gonna hold in all that moisture and end up rotting. So I'm gonna be ripping this scrap wood down to about quarter of an inch thick and using that to add some airflow through this lumber pile. I'm gonna speed through stacking this pretty quickly. I've got a bunch of different sizes of lumber, six by sixes, some two by fours, and a lot of planks. So it's sort of like a, a puzzle trying to fit everything together on this space and get it neatly stacked. The tighter you can get it stacked and the more weight you can get on top, the straighter the lumber will stay as it's drying. So I'm trying to get it to where everything has pressure on it and it's supported and everything will dry evenly and stay in place.
Now in just a second you'll see me take a wipe out just barely off the frame. I was carrying a 6x6 and lost my footing and at this point with the lumber being so wet it is pretty heavy so thankfully I wasn't hurt too bad. All right, so here's the final stack of lumber. This was two 10 foot long logs and then two eight foot long. I put the 10 foot down on the bottom first and then the eight foot on top of that. So I'm really excited to get using this in about six to 10 months, hopefully. I'll check on this and give you guys an update and hopefully be able to start using this lumber and make it useful. Now in the meantime, I've got a lot more wood that I wanna start milling, so I have a variety of different types. Now I'm going to put a ratchet strap around the front and back end of that top pile to tighten down and hold everything together. You've probably seen this at lumber mills or lumber yards. The stacks of lumber are strapped together. It not only holds the pile together, but especially the top few rows, they don't have that much pressure holding it down, keeping everything straight as it dries, and it will end up warping if you don't have that pressure. So I'm going to tie that down, everything really tight together. That way, as it's drying, hopefully it stays nice and straight. Now I'm a little worried about all the bugs getting in here and messing up the lumber, so I'm gonna use some spray and go around this. This is just home defense, it's safe for your home. Um, I'm gonna spray this down along the bottom of the pile and try to keep anything from crawling up in there. I don't believe this protects specifically against termites, but it definitely kills spiders, ants, roaches, different things like that. So I'm gonna see if that helps at all. Now lastly, I'm gonna put a nice big tarp over top of this. I've already put in about six metal stakes, one at each corner and then one on either side of the pile. I'm just gonna put rubber bungees holding that down onto the ground and then I'm gonna put a few pieces of scrap wood on top just to hold that in place. I don't think this is gonna go anywhere, but because it's pulled out away from the pile, it has plenty of air as the wind blows under here, you can easily feel a breeze. So the goal with this is to allow plenty of airflow through here, but also keep any moisture and rain off of the pile while it's drying. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you found this one helpful. And if you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Don't forget to check out my other mill videos right here on the screen. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.